everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I'm going to do a, a bo bottle bottom pour on. Uh, those seem to be pretty popular right now. I used to do them a long, long time ago, but uh, kind of rusty on it. So just going to give it a try here today. And let's go over my paints. First of all, I do have a light coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. My next color is the Blick Brillic Mars Black. And again, I'm using the Blick Brillic Chrome Orange. Blick Brillic Primary Yellow. and Blick Brillic Turquoise. And I am going to use some of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White also in the flower. Now my pouring medium is a little bit different today. It is three parts Floetrol, three parts Minwax Polycrylic, and two parts of a glue mixture. And that glue mixture is actually three parts glue and one part water. And then I did add a squirt of GAC 800 in all my paints just to help with cracking and crazing. I will list all of that in my description. I did not add any silicone here today. So let's, and I can show you consistency. It does leave a, just a little trace and then disappears pretty fast. Okay, so let's get started with layering the paints. I think the first one I'll do is, is the black. Like I said, I haven't done one of these in a long, long time. And the goal is to try and get the paints equal pretty much on all sides. Next, I'll put a little bit of the white down. Some of the turquoise. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. I did. I was lucky enough to be able to um, visit with family this weekend. On the lake, which was very nice and beautiful weather here. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of the black again. And after I make the flower, I think I will just do some tipping. If you've ever watched Fiona of Fiona Art, I believe it is, she does a lot of the flowers, beautiful, beautiful flowers. Okay, and I think I can do another layer here. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas.
and orange. and the yellow. And I think I will I think I will end it with the turquoise. Just to be a little bit different here. I am going to just let that run a minute here, or a couple seconds anyway. Okay, now I'll just lift my little cup up here. Or my bottle bottom, I should call it. And then I've seen where artists just take a skewer and they bring it out. And I will do that also. And you wipe it off after every time you run it through the paint. And I think I will put just maybe a little dab of color in the middle here also. And maybe I will take the my skewer and just Give it a center here. Okay. And now I will torch it. I'll do some tipping. And I will try and let you see as much of the tipping as possible here. I will bring it back to the middle. And I'm going to go over that edge and bring it back to the middle. And I will try and bring it down close to this edge, if not over the edge here. Okay, and now I will bring it back to the middle. And now I will go over this corner, this far corner. Okay, 
and now I will try and bring it back again to the middle, more into the middle. Okay, and now I will get this corner down here. And the paint is starting to move slower. It is still moving. Okay. And now I will try and get it just a little bit more down into the corner. I'm sorry, into the middle. If I said corner, I meant middle. Just get the center of that flower a little bit more in the center there. I think I will tip it down just a little bit here. I apologize for the noise. It's the lawnmower outside. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look at it here. I just think I want it to go this way a little bit, down to this far corner here. The lines got a little bit wonky on that side so I think I want to try and fix that if possible so I'm taking a lot of that off and I will bring it back more towards the center here now from what I can see I'm really pretty happy with how the lines kept their integrity here Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now. I think I want to just try and stretch it a little bit this way, this far end here. If I can get the paint to still move a little bit. It looks like it is. Okay. Just taking a look at it here. And I do think I want to stretch it just a little bit more down to this corner here. Check my corners here while I'm doing that. And it is again moving, but moving very slow. Okay, check my corners there. Possib I'm possibly going to try and move this just a little bit more into the middle here. That's good. Okay, and I will torch it. Pretty happy with that. I think this new pouring medium, as you can see, that some of the 
orange bled into that yellow, and I think that's so pretty. And a little bit of the black, how it went into the yellow there. Let's give it a torch here. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up. And you can tell me what you think. Back, and here is the upper left-hand corner. And I will take you down the left-hand side. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I did a bottle bottom pour on. And just look how crisp those lines are. Very pretty. Very pretty in there. I just love the orange and the yellow together. And this is the bottom left-hand corner. And I will take you up the middle. And in here you can see how some of the black has faded into the um, yellow. I also like that and how the orange has gone into the yellow there. This is kind of up the middle here now. And I will take you over to the top right. And we'll go down the right hand side now. I'm very happy with this. And this is the bottom right. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. That's important. Um, make sure you ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.